blessed us to keep preaching a lot here lately. Amen. And uh, had a good week. Had five saved this past week in different places. Thank God for that. But amen. If you have a Bible, want to turn with us. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 3. He said, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Amen. And whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest, amen, the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Now would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come, I, I once again tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that name, I, I all that's above every name, God, we realize without you, I, I, Lord, we can't do anything, but Lord, I pray tonight, Father, I, I, would you reach down and anoint me, your servant, I, I, amen, and Lord, I pray tonight, if there be one here, I, I, under the sound of my voice, that's lost and undone, I, I, God, speak to that heart tonight, before it's everlasting too late. I, I, in the name of Jesus we pray. I, I, amen and amen. I, I, hallelujah to God tonight. Amen. I was thinking about this verse. I, amen. How did he sit in verse number four? In whom the God of this world I, I, has blinded the minds of them which believe not. I, I, you know, I thought about that. I, I, how that a lot of times we allow things to rob us I, I, of our vision. And the Bible said where there is no vision, I, I, there the people perish. I, I, but sometimes I think we let our guard down I, I, because we only expect the major attacks, I, I, the major things to be what comes in and robs us I, I, of that vision. I, I, but amen, if you've ever had to wear glasses, I, I, amen, you realize sometimes you can get a smudge I, I, on them glasses and that little bitty smudge I, I can cause a whole lot of hindrance I, I, in your vision. I, and tonight with the help of the Lord, I, I, that's the word that I want to preach on tonight is the word smudges. I, I use in that word, amen, as an acronym. I, I, amen, each letter of the word to bring out a truth. I, I, to remind us the little things. I, I can sometimes I, I rob us from seeing the will of God I, I, and the plan of God for our life. I, I, the first thing that I begin to think about, I, I was that seemeth right way. I, I, amen, how that sometimes, I, I, amen, we get in that comfortable place in life. I, and we say, well, I'm all right. I, I preacher, amen, I, I feel like I'm okay. I, and we don't realize the enemy I, I, has put a smudge in our life. I, I, but friend, if there's ever been a time that we need to see clearly, I, I, it's the day and age that we're living in. I, I, because, amen, a little fog, I, I, amen, a little smear, a little smudge. I, I, amen, sometimes I, I can divert your attention I, I, from that place in life that you need to be with God. I, I, but I'm so thankful tonight I, I, that when I can't see clearly I, I, the Bible said that we walk by faith I, and not by sight. I've got somebody leading me I, I, guiding me through the darkness of this life. I, I, amen. So I, I even win the path Amen. Gets a little rough. I, I'm glad the Bible says I, I, that the steps of a righteous man, I, I, they're ordered I, I, by the Lord. Amen. But you know, sometimes, I, you know, until I take my glasses off I, and I hold them up to the light, I, I, then I see just how smudged they really were. I, and to see what I need that they I, I have to be wiped off and I, I get a fresh vision. I, I, we are bombarded by this world on an everyday basis. I, I trying to get us I, I, to lower our standard, I, I lower our guard, I, and to see that it doesn't matter. I, I, but the Bible said that the word of God I, I, is forever I, I set it in heaven I, I, things may change I, I, but my Bible says Jesus Christ I, I, the same yesterday I, I, today I, I am forever I, I mean maybe it surprises me sometimes I, I, 
just like my glasses how that I can get smudges on them and I can touch them and not even realize that it's there until I take them off I it's time that we live side every way and the sin that is so easily beset us and get a fresh vision of who God is he's still a healer he's still a man to deliver and one that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think according to that power which worketh in us I said, sometimes it's the little things. Hey, Amen. I've seen folks go to church for years. Hey, Amen. But slowly start drifting away. Hey, Amen. And can't see the morning sun. I can't see that they're just kind of veering. The way they used to come in. You know, kind of like Randall preached the Lord loud. You know, boisterous. But little by little, they begin to hang their arm. Up on the river. They begin to back away from that joy that they once had. I'm telling you the God of this world the devil wants to put a smudge on your vision I mean he don't come with horns a red suit and a pitchfork he just wants you to kind of get a little distracted get a little detour so he can lead you in to destruction but I've come to tell us tonight that the devil is alive and the power of it and Jesus said and ye shall know the truth and the truth it'll make you free I thank God God knows how to deal with them little smudges that sometimes come in your life Hallelujah, but sometimes, I, I, because it's little, I, I, we don't deal with it. I, I'm not understanding that the small foxes I, I destroy the mind. I, it ain't always the big things. I, I, you know, the alcohol, the drugs, I, I, the things that we would classify. I, amen. It's a major attack that pulls a lot of people down. I, I, but sometimes it's that. I, I get uncomfortable. I, I get into that place where you stop growing. I, and stop even drawing nigh to God. I know that when you draw nigh to God, He promised that He would draw nigh to you. Hallelujah. And so it's a happening. And a lot of folks don't even see it. Amen. But it's not just that seemeth right way. I, I, amen. It's the sin I, I, that used to convict our heart. I, and we would weep between the porch and the altar. But now we become tolerant of it. And we say, oh, I, I, God is a God of love. He is. I, and we say, God is a God of grace. I, I, but we forget He's also a holy God. I, and He said, without holiness, I, I, no man shall see the Lord. I, I, friend, no sin is going to enter into that place. And so we must learn the importance of dying out to sin. I preach there in Romans 6 and 23. The wages of sin are his death. It carries a stiff penalty. And so we cannot allow the enemy to put a smudge on our vision and rob us from walking upright before a just and a holy God. Amen. Amen. I tell you, it seemed like when I was a young man, I, I folks still had a fear of God. I, and by fear, I mean reverend. I, I, they realized, I, I, they used to sing songs like, you can make it without me, Lord. I, I, but I can't make it without you. I, I've come to tell you in 2022, I, I, he can still make it without me. I, I, but I can't make it without him. I, I, the Bible said I, I, that it's in him that we live. I, I move and have our being. I, I Thank God tonight I, I, that He wants to wipe away. I, I, amen. That I, I smudge from our eyes. I, he said, Anoint your eyes with eye salve I, I, that you might see. I, I get that renewal back. I, I get that fresh vision back. I, I get that joy back. I, I know where you can be like David I, and say, I was glad I, I, when they said unto me, I, I Let us I, I go up unto the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. But it's not just the S. I, 
Uh, you've got the M. Uh, and that stands for our mind. Uh, uh, have you ever uh, uh, seen such a time uh, uh, when folks try to intellectualize? Uh, I figure things out. Uh, I say, how does A uh, uh, plus B equal C? Uh, uh, amen. And how? Uh, uh, they kind of, uh, uh, when all the answers want God to move, uh, and then they're willing to respond. Uh, uh, but my Bible says, uh, uh, amen, that when we walk by faith and not by sight, uh, uh, we got to step out, uh, and then God will move. Uh, uh, because he says in Isaiah 26 and 3, uh, uh, thou will keep him uh, uh, in perfect peace, uh, uh, whose mind is stayed upon thee. Uh, uh, don't let the enemy trouble your mind tonight uh, and Rob you worried about tomorrow uh, uh, God knows how to take care of tomorrow uh, uh, you serve God for today uh, uh, from Matthew 6 and 33 uh, I said seek it first uh, uh, the kingdom of God uh, and his righteousness uh, and all these other things uh, uh, that be added unto you Amen. I know folks that used to have joy uh, and now they're worried about tomorrow. I, I've worried about six months from now. I, I've worried about what it's going to be like this winter. I, I, but what did David say? I, I, he said, I was young. I, I, but now I'm old. I, I know the men and I ain't never seen the righteous. I, I was forsaken to receive big and bread. I, and so if God don't change, I, I, why should I waste my time? I, I'm going to start worrying I, about tomorrow. I, I, when I can't change anything, I, I can myself, I, I, but I know a God I, I, that said that He's able to keep I, I, that which I'll commit unto Him. I did say that. I, I, friend, I know in whom I have believed, I, I, so I'm not going to worry about it I, and let my mind I, I get carried away I, I, with a lot of fear. I, I, for He said, He that feareth I, has not been made perfect in love, I, and God has not given unto us I, I, the spirit of fear. I, I, but a power, a love, I, and of a sound mind. Hello? Love. Amen. I see a little smudge. How are you, brother? I'm blessed. Yeah. And yet we're worried about tomorrow. Yeah, about How are you, brother? I'm worried about what's going on down six months from now. Amen. Hey, man, let me tell you something. I, I, amen. When I wake up this morning, I, I, amen, I realized that this is a day that the Lord had made. I, yeah. And how I rejoiced in it. I, I was glad in it. I, and if I wake up in the morning, I'm going to do the same thing. I, I know that it's God. I, yes. And that until He's done with me, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going to, amen, just give up. I, I lay down and die. I, I, David said, I shall not die. I, I believe. I, and to have the wonderful outworks of the Lord. Amen. And so sometimes these little mind games, the devil does. You ever had a mind game go on? Yeah. Lay down at night and everything get quiet. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Your mind start racing. Wonder what he meant by that. Hey man, you start trying to intellectualize and figure it out, I, and pretty soon you got an all to get somebody. I, I've been making it with me nothing better to start with. I, I, I mean, you want to pray for him. Hey man, and say, God, I put it in your hands. Instead of letting it rob you of your sleep, hey man, and your peace, I, I let me put a smudge on your vision. I, I realize how I, I, Jesus said, I, I love your enemies. I, I pray for them that persecute you. I, I, don't worry about it. I, I don't give place to the devil. I, I let God be the truth I, and every man a lie. Hallelujah. I know it reminded me. I've told you this before. I went for my driver's license renewal a few years ago before I was wearing glasses. Stuck my head in that little thing. Hey man, I couldn't see nothing. <laughs> I told that lady, I said, man, they something smudged all over that. Clean it. She did, and it didn't help you. <laughs> hey, man, she said, you wear glasses, don't you? <laughs> hey, man, found me out real quick. I, I, hey, man, I'm telling you, the enemy is that slick. I, I bet he'd love to let a little thing. I, I try to rob you of what God wants to do in your life. I, I, 
there are folks that wonder, God, where are you? I'm telling you, God ain't went anywhere. But friend, we've got to get back. I'm seeking Him. I'm letting Him. I have the dominion in our mind. I'm casting down every thought, every imagination. I'm taking it captive. I'm bringing it under subjection to the obedience and the law of Christ. Because sometimes folks lie. How you? I'm fine. Look good on the outside. Uh-huh. And a warfare going on in your oh, mind. Yes, Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, God left this altar for us. He did. You ain't got to come up and go through your whole life story. No. You just lay it out before God, and God is able. He is. To speak peace, just like when the sea and the waves were troubled. I, I, he didn't say, I, I, now, you know, I'm Jesus. I, I'm the creator of heaven and an earth. I, I, amen. And I have authority. He just said, peace, be still. Man, just a simple statement from him. I, and it brought a great calm. He can do the same. I, I'm with your mind tonight. Amen. But if you let that mind, he may begin to run. You don't keep it in check. I, I pretty soon it'll begin to manifest in your life. I, I, amen. You'll forget about I, I, why you're here. I, I, do you remember why you're here tonight? I, I mean, I can still remember. I, I, August 1982. I, I was in a little country church. I, man, that preacher was preaching right at me, I thought. I, I, amen. Got convicted of my sins. I, I, God saved me gloriously that night. I, I didn't have any idea, brother. The Randall, what I was starting out on, I, I, but Amen. God started me out on a journey. I, I'm so glad I, I didn't let something distract me. I, I smudge out my vision and say, "Well, I, I, maybe when I get older, I, I, maybe some other time, I, I might not have been here tonight." I, I, but by the grace of God, I, I, He spoke peace I, I, to my mind, I, and the same God I, I, that did it for me, I, I can do it for you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, but sometimes, I, again, we think it's got to be those major altercations I, I, that rob us. I, I, amen. I, I mean, there's some folks just get weary and will do it. Yeah. Amen. And they don't learn to rest in the Lord. I, amen. Let Him renew their peace I, and their strength. I, I, but sometimes, I, amen, that mind is what gets us in trouble. I, I, because as we think in our heart, I, out of the abundance of the heart, I, out of the mouth speaketh. I, I mean, you got Jesus in there. I, I, Jesus got to come out. I, I, but if you got garbage in there, I, I, somehow, amen, your mouth I, I, is going to tell him like Peter. I, I, Peter, you're one of them, aren't you? I, I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, your speech betrays thee. I, I'm telling you tonight, but God I, I wants to wipe the smudges. I, I just like when we get to heaven. I, I, the Bible said it brought himself. I, I, it's going to wipe away every tear. I, I pray we're going to see this. I, I now we see the place that I'm going to be I, I, we're going to see clear. Man never thought you'd get a message out of wearing the glasses. <laughs> I was driving one night, and man, I, I just didn't realize how filthy they were. And I thought, is it foggy? I didn't think it was foggy. Until I stopped and I took stock of what I was looking through. Yeah. I didn't realize what the problem was. And that's why the Bible said, let a man examine himself. Uh -huh. Sometimes, amen, we think it's the church. It's that person, I'm that preacher. A lot of times we just got some muck and mire in our eyes that we need to get wiped out. I, I mean, what Jesus said about judging, I, amen, how can you tell somebody else how, how to get the mold out of their eye when you've got a beam in yours? Woo! Don't shut me down. 
Amen. Sometimes it's that you. I, amen. Have you ever? I, I've noticed that you can be the problem sometimes. I, I, amen. That it's not my brother. I, I, it's me. It's that you, that understanding I, I, that I have. I, I thought about when Jesus told him in John 6. I, amen. Speaking of the communion. I, amen. Except you eat my flesh. I, and bring my blood. Talking about the communion service. I, I've taken time to fellowship. I, I mean, most churches got the little table here I, I, that says this do in remembrance of me. I, I, amen. But sometimes we get so distracted I, I, that we have forgotten I, I, that we are to celebrate I, I, that we're not serving a dead God. I, I, he ain't in the tomb no more. I, I, we're serving a living God. I, I'm not an idol. I, I, but sometimes I, I, we lack that understanding. Amen. Some of them looked at him. I, and they said, well, I, oh, this man, he speaketh a hard thing. I, I, who can understand it? I, I, amen. They walk no longer with him. I, and Jesus looked at Peter. I, and he said, will you also go away? I, and Peter said, Lord, I, where can we go? I, I, for only you have the words of eternal life. I, I tell you, when this world no way sins, I, I'm glad I can still look up. I, there is still a sun shining up there. I, I, Above the class, I, I said they still a rainbow I, I, after the storm. I, I thank God tonight. Hello, somebody. Oh, oh hey, brother, amen. But sometimes we get down. That old devil says, "Well, that don't seem fair." And we say, "Yeah, I just can't understand it." We get a smudge. We stumble a little bit. I tell you, God wants to take away the smudge. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. He wants us to see clearly. Come on. He does. Man, if anybody will have vision, it ought to be the church. It ought to be the church. Amen. We ought to be standing and letting our lives so shine. Oh, I, I, before men, to see the darker it is, the brighter that little light can shine. Amen. Amen. I told you, first song ever learned in Sunday school, I, I, this little light of mine. Come on, man. I'm going to let it shine. Ain't going to let Satan blow it out, but I'm going to let it shine. Amen. But somewhere along the line, we've let them smudge us yeah. up. And it ain't just glasses. Sometimes it's a windshield as you're driving. Yeah. Amen. You ever have it fog up on you? Yeah. Try to wipe and seem like the more you wipe, the more it just smears. Because sometimes it takes more than just a hand cleaning. Amen. you got to have something that can take away right, what's blocking your vision. I'm glad what can wash away my sin. No. Nothing, but Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. I feel this thing tonight. I tell you, you know, a lot of times it ain't that we can't have revival. It ain't that God ain't wanting to move. It's just we kind of lost our vision. I had a man tell me, he said, well, you can't have revival like you should. I said, why not? Yeah. We said nobody wants to come. I said, somebody, it makes it worse, hungry. Amen. Amen. They want to hear from God. Yes. Tired of being blind, leaving the blind. Amen. Amen. They want to get a clear vision. I, and I bring them so far and go, I know where I'm going. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Well, I skip that down on that Amen. I know where I'm going because I know where I'm in. Amen. Amen. I've had a little talk with Jesus. I, amen. He forgive me my sin. Got the muck out of my eyes. I, I got the smudge out. I, and now I know I, I, because eyes not seen, I, ears not heard, I, I neither has it entered into the heart of man all the good things I, I, that God has prepared for men that love him. I, I, but he didn't stop there. He went on to say, but he has revealed them unto us by his spirit. Thank God that he wants to give us. Amen. Good understanding. He said, keep thine heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. And with all thy giving, get understanding also. Amen. If any man like wisdom, I, I let him turn to the tabloid. No. Let him look to the astrology. No. Amen. No, he said, let him ask of God. Yeah. I, I forgive him literally unto all men that upbreaketh not. I, I, God ain't afraid of your questions. No, he's not. What? You have heard me. I've been in service a lot lately. <laughs> I feel like preaching. Oh, hey, I preach a little while. Hallelujah! I said, God wants to get the smudges out of our eyes. Hey, man. to that little blind fella. He meant somebody told him that witchcraft was the only way to get his vision back to get a look through the darkness. 
I tell you, wasn't witchcraft that got him on Sunday morning. Oh. It was the S O N. Yeah. yeah. The son, the same one. I, I bet Sean on the Damascus Road. I, I bet old Paul was heading to Damascus. I, and friend, if that God, the same God, I, I bet the child on the Damascus Road, I, I could shine under this little blind boy. I, I, he wants to shine in your life tonight. Oh, good, man. Woo! I say God wants to give you a fresh fish. Oh, yeah. But sometimes we think as long as we're not out clubbing, we're all right. No, sir, sometimes we need Sometimes, friend, we gotta have a checkup. Yes. Yeah. Amen. We gotta move up a little bit. The time's getting away from me. I, amen. I'm just to the letter D. I, amen. Sometimes it's about the dedication. We don't have that dedication like we once did. Amen. The Bible said in Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, I, I, by the mercies of God that you present, I, I, your body, he didn't say your car, I, I, your bank account, I, I, he said present your body a living sacrifice. I, I, amen. You put yourself on that all. I, I, you give it all to God. I, and when you dedicate yourself, I, I, amen, God, I, I can consume everything you can give it. I, I, but if you want the fire to fall, I, I, amen. Hey man, it ain't gonna fall on an empty altar. No. Hello? It ain't. Sometimes when we start backing off, it lady the other day wrote me a letter. She said, I had a dream the other night. Said in that dream, said I, I thought God maybe wanted me to seek him. And to pray, what do you think I ought to do? I said, seek him. <laughs> and pray. <laughs> you don't get no more zipper than that. <laughs> I mean, the Bible said that we seek Him, we'll find Him, we'll search for Him. I, I, with all of my heart. I, I, but sometimes, I, I, we're looking for that shortcut, you know, six steps, I, I, 12 steps. I, I, amen, you know, to that spiritual breakthrough. I, and sometimes you just got to get up out of your seat amen. and say, Lord, here I am. But sometimes, just like Isaiah, the sixth chapter, I, amen, when the old Isaiah saw the Lord, I, he began to realize how sinful he had been. I, he said, woe is me. I, I'm a man of unclean lips. Yeah. Amen. Hello. Uh, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. I, after the same God that revealed himself unto Isaiah yeah. I, has got the same solution tonight. Oh, yes. Sent one of them seraphims with tongs to get a coal off the altar. Put it on his mouth, touched his lips, ha, and he said, Your iniquity's been purged. Ha, I'm telling you, if you've been forgiven, Pop, you're trying to live in the graveyard. Yeah, amen. When Lazarus come out, ha, he said, Loose him and let him go. Yeah, man. A lot of folk been amen, brought out of the grave and they still walking around bound up. Amen. amen. But we need that dedication back. Amen. Somebody said, You know what? I'm going to show up. Last month when I was here, I was in Lawrence. We had a meeting, amen, through Zoom in Pakistan. And 238 people showed up. Amen, to listen to somebody through a projection screen. Amen, not there physically. They took pictures and it was wild. Looking at myself on that screen, my interpreter standing beside me. Man, they had to risk their life to show up. Yeah. They like it is here. But you know what? They said, we want to know about Jesus. Amen. We've heard about all these up. We won't know about him. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what I preached? I preached on the beauty of salvation. Yes, sir. Amen. I said it's more than rules and regulations. I, I, amen. I thought about that on something. I just started living. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm telling you, if you think it's only about what you can't do and I, I, those things, I, I think you ain't got a clear picture. No, of What ain't. salvation's about. Praise the Lord, brother. It's a relationship. Yes, he is. With the greatest friend that you'll ever find in your life. That's right. Somebody that'll stand by you. Come on. You ain't got to worry about him standing you in the back. No. You ain't got to worry about him betraying you. He understands what it is to be betrayed. He had a Judas. But amen so many times. Because we lack that ded dedication. We let discouragement take over. We start getting more smudged. And you try to talk to some folks and they'll kind of cut you off going, I know. I know. I mean, you're preaching to the choir. I know, preacher. Yeah. But you can see them old marks getting thicker. Uh, you can see that they're losing that vision a little more every time. Yeah. Because they stumble. 
used to holler, Amen. Well, and now they're quiet. Yeah. Hands used to go up, but rarely ever do now. Now, now because we've got so many smudges yeah. in our eyes. But I'm telling you tonight, God wants us to get rid of them smudges. Come on, he right. does. Because I'm telling you, when we stand before Him, Amen. We're going to see Him in all of His glory. For it does not yet appear what we should be like, but we know that when He appears, we'll see Him as He is because we're going to be like Him. Woo! Oh, to be like Jesus. Amen. We're glory. Hallelujah. Why, we should feel what I was feeling tonight. Amen. I said, man, to be like Jesus. Amen. Amen. They used to have that saying, you used to go, W, W, J, D, what would Jesus do? I can tell you some things he wouldn't do. He wouldn't let the enemy rob him of the vision. The Bible said for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. Yes. He looked way ahead and saw what it was going to be like. Come on. So he could have said, you know, it ain't worth it. But because he looked ahead and for the joy that was set before him, he endured it. Friend, we've got something to hang on to out there in the future. Yes. It's going to be a payday. Yes, they are. At the end of the road, Brother Randall. They are, brother. It's going to be a payday. And if we can just keep focused on that for yeah, that day. Amen. Amen. I believe we can press through some of these dark times that we encounter. Because God is still God tonight. Still God. Yes, He is. Amen. Now, uh, Amen. One of the things that as I started getting down to the end of smudges, I thought about that E and smudge, and I thought about when we don't evict some things out of our life. Some things that we need to get rid of. Some things that I, I, we allow to stay there. I, amen. That we allow other things to have preeminence. And I, I thought about, you know, when they were stoning Stephen. I, I, amen. How easy it would have been I, I, to have gotten angry. I, and to say, God, I, I don't deserve this. I, I, but amen. Listen to what happened. I, I, the Bible said in Acts 7 and I, I, 59 and 60. I, it said... And they stoned Stephen calling upon God ha, and saying Lord Jesus ha, ha, receive my spirit ha, and he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice ha, ha, Lord lay not this sin to their charge ha, and when he had said thus ha, ha, he fell asleep ha, ha, boy I'm telling you there's some things we need to ha, ha, get rid of we need to get rid of the anger and the envy and the ha, ha, you know the cry for justice ha, I thought about that going home the other night. I, I said home from a meeting and I said, God, I, I, man, I'd like to see you move in this situation. You know what he reminded me of? There was a time in my life I deserved justice. Yes. But I got mercy to stay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I, I mean, I was praying. I said, God, <laughs> man, what they did, you know, God, I'd like to see you fix that. He said, you need to remember uh -oh. It was a time to go to my home. Oh, amen. You got mercy. The tears begin to run out. I said, God, forgive me. Yeah. God, I'm not crying for justice for them. I'm crying for mercy. Yeah, for amen. Amen. Because he said, as you've been forgiven, you've got to forgive. That's oh, true, brother. And amen. I tell you, man, that was a, that was a moment I had that night. I, I, I was praying, you know, and, and you know, a lot of times the devil put people in your life and said, yeah, you've got to write. The Bible said be angry and sin not. Amen. Amen. And sometimes we fan the fire in the wrong direction, don't we? Yes, we do. Amen. Because people who don't have a lot of teaching take that and they run with it and they think they're justified. And sometimes they can't put a break on it. But God reminded me that night. He said, you deserved justice. Amen. If I'd have got what I'd have deserved when I was lost, I'd have been in hell. Amen. They got mercy. Come on, and the same God that gave me mercy Woo. wants me to have mercy on those that do me wrong. Come on. Hello! Come on. Woo! And so there's some things that we need to learn to evict out of our life if we don't want it to you know there are a lot of folks they got a pretty clear vision except when it comes to somebody that maybe done them wrong yeah. yeah and I've heard people tell me stories from 10 years ago even as long as 30 and 40 years ago why can't we learn to let things go amen I'm telling you 
All you're doing is hanging on to a burning coal that ain't doing nothing but burning you. But if you let it go, God knows how to handle it. He said, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I will repay it. And so we need to learn, amen, if we're going to get rid of these smudges and let God give us what we need, amen, we need the blood of Jesus applied to our vision, not just, amen, our Sunday go to meeting, not just our midweek prayer meeting, amen, we need him inside, outside, we need him all over. For Psalm 133 said how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together together in unity. It's like that precious old man ha, ha, that ran down the head of Aaron. Ha, ha, even if they got didn't stop at the bottom of the heart, ha, ha, but it ran down to the hem and the skirts of his garment. Ha, yes. Amen. God wants to consume you. God wants to be in every area of your life. So to have that, we've got to learn to submit. Because you know what? There for a while, Sometimes you find yourself doing that. Yeah. Instead of taking time to clean the glasses. Yeah. You just, I'll make it without them. Yeah. Feel just as hindered as you were before. Don't realize yeah, it. Don't put where I'm start with. Yeah. Amen. Until you take and begin to clean up. Amen. How do we do that? We get in the Word daily. We get in the prayer closet daily. Amen. And learn to submit ourselves unto God. We fix these things. And when we do that, Man, you'd be surprised how good you can see. Amen. I'll say this as I come to a coach tonight. I was at that doctor's office, amen, whenever I got my glasses. I don't know why they do this, but amen. He clicked that lens. He'd say, how's that? And I'd think, man, that's worse than what I see now. Because see, he wants you to see the difference in what it's coming to. And man, whenever I realized just how blind I really was, I never realized until he... Rolled back the scales from my eyes like he did for Paul. Yeah. Paul had scales on his eyes. He did. Amen. He had some smudges, you might say. Yeah. But whenever he clicked into that lens, he said, how is it now? And I thought, whoo, and I can see clearly now. Amen. I'm telling you, God wants you to be able to leave here tonight saying, you know what? I didn't just go to church, but I got my vision back. Amen. I've got a fresh reminder that heaven is a reality. Eternity, amen, is important tonight. And as we bow our heads, nobody looking around tonight, not going to embarrass you in any way. I want to ask you this, and I promise you, if you're here and you're lost without God and you raise your hand, I'm not going to come back and try to embarrass you. I'm not going to come pull you and try to drag you, because if I do that, the devil will pull you right back. It's no good if I do that. But I'd like to know, while we have this opportunity tonight, would there be one that would take that initiative to say, yeah, preacher, that's me. I'm not where I need to be. I'm lost without God. Maybe you've been saved. And you realize you're not where you once was. Or maybe you're here tonight and you've never been saved. Would you just slip that hand up? Put it right back down. I promise you, I'm not going to come back and aggravate you tonight. I just want to know, will you take that first step? Slip that hand up. Put it right back down. I'd Feel like, amen, God is trying to speak to somebody's heart, somebody tonight. All right, amen, I'm not going to tarry.